So beautiful. Oh, it's really nice. I feel almost guilty because back home it's probably 30 below right now. This is just glorious. Ruth Moody, welcome to Australia, or should I say welcome home. Thank you. It's great to be home. Well, despite your accent and your choice of genre of music, you do have an Australian story. What is it? Well, I was born here in Queensland. Not here, but in Queensland. Um, my parents are Australian. My mum was born in Perth, and my dad was born in Melbourne. But I have uh, lots of cousins and friends here, and uh, there's definitely a, a pull here. Um, I always love coming back and I've been back I think this is my sixth or seventh time so. Well you had a, a small taste of Australian beach culture today. It, you did. couldn't be further away from your home in Winnipeg. It's true. Uh, yeah what a contrast. Uh, I can't I sort of can't even believe we're here. <laughs> You know, I come from a musical family and my, my mom's a music teacher, so it was more classical music that, that I grew up with. Um, but then later on I discovered folk music and it was very well suited to my voice, um, which was uh, nice to discover because I, at around that time I was also discovering that I wasn't going to be an opera singer, I just didn't have that kind of big voice. So. Um, yeah, and folk music, it just felt right. I felt a connection with uh, particularly Celtic music, um, English, Scottish, Irish songs. So I started to delve into that a little bit, and then that kind of led me to um, related traditions, old-timey music, bluegrass, Cajun, um, country, and, and uh, gospel. And then that led to writing my own songs. So. Yeah, it's, it, there's definitely been an evolution, but, um, but who knows if I would have found that in Australia. I have an Australian friend who thinks it's funny that the snow squeaks. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I was here with my other band, the Whalen Jennies, in 2006. We did quite a bit of beach hopping at that point. But uh, on the prairies in in Canada, there's there's well, there's there's no ocean. That's for sure. <laughs> there are lakes, so you go to the beach, but it's not not quite the same. <laughs> A lot of your songs reference the cold of the deep north. Uh, how does that translate to Australian audiences in the middle of summer? Uh, well, we've only had one show so far. Um, I think they find it amusing, maybe even refreshing. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. The streets are dark and the winds are wild and the certainly be wrong to describe you as an overnight sensation because you've been plugging away in this industry for for many years but you're perhaps not as well known to Australian audiences. Uh, no I mean this is really my second tour over here we were here I was here in 2006 with the Whalen Jennies but that's really the only other time that said I've been uh, touring really for 18 years uh, or so so um, yes been plugging away Happily. <laughs> and and uh, the likes of Mark Knopfler have taken you to the stage of the Royal Albert Hall and other huge venues across Europe. Uh, tonight we find you in the Milton Theatre, which is certainly a, a lot more humbling experience. You know, every, 
Every venue is special in its own way. Candelo Town Hall, the Yak and Danda RSL, I mean, they're fantastic names if nothing else. Mm -hmm. Is it important for you to keep that close contact with your fans in small venues? Yes. Um, sometimes the small venues and the small towns are the best experiences because, um, well, first of all, they really appreciate that you come to their town. Um, and so as a performer, you really feel that. Uh, but it is, I mean, my, my whole reason for doing this is to be part of that conversation between us, the performer, and the listener. Um, and um, it doesn't really matter what the venue is. There's not much to hide uh, or nowhere to hide on a stage in a, in a small theatre like this, is there? I mean, your fans are sitting just metres away from you and That's right. they'll hear and see everything you do and That's say. That's right. I also don't wear glasses on stage, so <laughs> if I did, I probably would, would notice people, you know. Is that a little tip of yours, is it? <laughs> it is a tip. I would recommend it. It helps. It helps to not get too distracted by someone sucking on a lozenge or or yawning or <laughs> so come inside mm. do you think we might see an australian themed song cropping up on the next album i i wouldn't doubt it yeah i joke that i that i write a lot of winter songs well it's not really a joke i mean it's the truth um, but that i don't have any summer songs so uh, I've got a month, three weeks to a month here, so you never know. Well, good luck finding that inspiration, and I hope we do hear it on the next Ruth Moody album. Thanks so much.